Welcome to Loktak Lake, the pride of Manipur. It is the largest freshwater lake in the northeast India. The Loktak is designated as a wetland of international importance under the Ramsar Convention. It stretches with an area of 246.72 km square, located between 93 degree 46 minute to 93 degree 55 minute east and 24 degree 25 minute to 24 degree 42 minute north. Around the Loktak Lake, approximately 52 settlements belonging to 12 towns are situated, representing 9% of the overall population of Manipur. The livelihood of the inhabitants come from the lake's resources, which they directly or indirectly utilize. The Loktak Lake is a famous tourist place due to the floating islands present, locally known as Fumdis. The floating island is made up of a floating vegetation mass formed by the proliferation of vegetation, weeds, and organic debris at different decay phases. The Kabulam Jao National Park, the world's only floating national park, is located in the southern region of Loktak Lake. The park is home to diverse flora and fauna, including the highly endangered recovers LDLD, popularly known as Sangai, the dancing deer. Due to overcrowded tourists in the Loktak prison, littering has become a significant issue and is a massive challenge for the local people. We could meet some local farmers and they were expressing the issue as another threat to their ecosystem. Plastic is the most prevalent type of marine debris found in our ocean and great lakes. Plastic debris can come in all shapes and sizes, but those that are less than 5 mm in length or about the size of a sesame seed are called microplastics. Microplastics come from various sources, including from larger plastic debris that degrades into smaller and smaller pieces. These tiny particles quickly pass through water filtration systems and end up in the ocean and Great Lakes, posing a potential threat to aquatic life. Just a few distances from the Lokat Lake, we could see a vast pile of plastic bottles while returning home after the shoots. Recently, we came across in a news article that Mr. Ningtozum Tigain, who runs a boat service from Tanga to Karang at Loktak Lake, has collected over 10,000 discarded plastic bottles left by tourists. Microplastics in the water we drink and the air we breathe can also hit humans directly. Lastly, we all should know that Whatever we discard to Mother Nature, it will always come back to us. So, let us be a responsible citizen and protect our pride, Loktak Lake. Loktak Lady Mimane Aifaba Oisinu, Hail Loktak Lake. Loktak Lake.